Hi there. Azrael the Emerald Sorcerer is here. Let's play cards. All right, y'all. We'll see how far we get before the dogs start barking. Who's this? Oh, shit. Maybe I'll go on through the same stuff. Let's do Sag and Aquarius, yeah. Uh, let's see, Sagittarius and Aquarius. What have you got going on? Maybe you just have a lot of Aquarius in your chart. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius or Sagittarius, you have a lot of Aquarius. Whatever. Aquarius, you have Sagittarius. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yin and Yang. So there's that here. Trust, take a deep breath. Somebody's like a fairy godmother. Somebody you see as like magical. Somebody is also very smart here. This person, you're worried or you're in distress over them or the loss of them. You're torn. Ooh. It feels like you're missing part of you here with that heart split. Somebody's feelings are in two places here. Somebody is not balanced. There's a need to consider options here. The law of cause and effect here. So somebody is feeling some type of way here because they're not being their authentic self or not partnering up with the right partners here. All right, there's some deep knowing and you know, you know. So that's where we're starting. Give me some cards, please. Eight of Cups. So something is emotionally not fulfilling here with the moon. Uh, you're hiding something here. You're hiding a Queen of Wands, uh, another woman here. Something needs to be laid to rest with the Death card. I feel like somebody hasn't been right here since the death. Somebody has been soul searching or going through a dark night of the soul here. Seven of Swords. And again, the strategies are not turning out the way that one planned here. More soul searching. All right. Yin and Yang here. What is it? What the fuck? Lack of long term vision here. So somebody has not stayed focused. They've not stayed invested. Work without results and a distraction here. Worry and distress. Worry and distress here. A lot of head holding, face rubbing, lost in thoughts here. She's lost in thoughts. He's lost in a thought here. Uh, yeah, lots of them. Maybe even dreaming, daydreaming. <clears throat> All right, give me something on this high priestess. Eight of swords, five of pentacles. Ooh. So there's a, a, a lack mindset here. Somebody feels isolated. Again, with the worry. Eight of Swords here. Something is going to come to an end here. It's having to do with working with people because there's like some third part energy, party energy going on here. Somebody has deep wounds, like I was saying here. They've lost something. Some loss is weighing heavy on someone. Somebody feels defeated. time to like break through here and have some clarity somebody needs to come up with a new idea on a way to move forward because uh there needs to be some action here somebody is definitely not being their authentic self so somebody has a, a need to defend their beliefs here or that's what they're you're not doing there's some sort of conflict here somebody is not thinking clearly about choices here and which direction to move. Somebody regrets moving or taking some sort of direction. What is this anxiety, please? The chariot, exactly. Oh God, somebody regrets moving. Those are both moving and traveling here. Somebody's waiting for a new cycle or trying to bring in a new cycle. Something is karmic here. Somebody wants to stop participating in something.
Hmm. I feel like somebody is looking at a friend. Some sort of contemplating uh, renew a renewal. Seven of Swords. Like, there's the strategy. Somebody's definitely sneaking around. Somebody feels like they've been betrayed. Somebody's trying to get away with something. Trickery. Again, with the soul searching, somebody's going about something all the wrong way. Nine of Cups. You want things, but... Uh, I feel like you want to be happy, but this is what you're doing. Aquarius, that's your energy. All right, to be fair, ooh, yikes. Having to do with love and the hot chakra and the past and nostalgia and soulmates here. I need to consider other people. Somebody's spending a lot of time reminiscing here about love, about healing something. Three of Wands. Somebody wants, the, yeah, there's a lot of foresight here. Somebody is like looking ahead, making plans big time here. Nine of Cups. Somebody's putting in new wishes. Somebody is not emotionally stable and is working on stabilizing themselves. Temperance here. What is this? No place like home. Six of Wands and the Devil. Progress. devil see three of swords third party but a lot of heartbreak and grief emotional pain there could be some sort of divorce but there's definitely been loss and depression going on here a shadow self here it looks like whatever somebody is going through or has been restricting themselves for and now ready to act on it uh looks like it's going to go in your favor judgment there's some awakening coming for sure for sure nine of pentacles but you need to free yourself here from some illusion about love eight of cups because somebody is considering all these very many opportunities here but you're stuck in an illusion somebody is looking at some energy magical energy uh independent energy somebody that has a zest for life like at a distance someone's like well that would make me happy ten of cups ten of pentacles someone's determined to make somebody an offer two of cups here to be soulmates to be partners you already are soulmates oh boy let me see The Wheel of Fortune. This is definitely a karmic relationship here. This has to do with your destiny. Someone you are destined to be with. Some situation you are destined to go through here. It's a fated event brought to you by the universe. Can I have another card, please? Somebody's being pushed to enjoy themselves and lift out of negativity. It requires making a move and a decision here, but free will, you can do whatever you like. Ooh, it, yeah, look at. I think Jupiter rules both Aquarius and Sagittarius, if I'm not mistaken here. Something just is not right. So somebody needs to get out of their own way here. Not right concerning love here somebody might want to reconcile with someone but they're in another place here there's definitely some walking away and moving or traveling that needs to be done somebody's weighing the options measuring the options somebody's trying to be realistic somebody feels bound to someone here because y'all soulmates Collective Consciousness and Jupiter. Oh my God, and Divine Intervention. The Hierophant here. Somebody, oh my God. I feel like someone can hear you in your wishes here. Somebody's belief system, I feel like, has been their nemesis. As above, so below. 
you all have a contract in the higher ups here. It's time to like solve problems and get creative. Give me another card on that. A hermit, yet again on the hermit. Something's gonna have to move and change or get out of the way here. You are learning something. You're being guided to remove some obstacles here. This is so messy. All right, so justice, cause and effect, to be fair here. Somebody just wants to be happy. An alpha male, but more than anything, it's persistent. There's some sort of competition going on here. Somebody is motivated to get things changed, get things going. The star. Somebody definitely like can't stop looking at someone. Shiny things. The elephant. So lucid dreaming. Again with the daydreams and connection here. So connected tele tele telepathically. Uh, you all have, yeah, connection to source, past life connection here. You have a contract with this person um, for the long haul. Yeah, exactly. Hierarchy. This is going around today here. Soul contracts and people are, are ignoring them. Oh boy. There's no place like home here. Pride and ego. Overcoming difficulties. It's time to do like what's right here. Your heart is like in another place. Firefly. <clears throat> Communication and connecting, taking a leap of faith here. Being at peace with someone, collaborating with someone else. You want to put the past behind you. You feel like somebody is magical here. Somebody is definitely attracted to this person sexually. There's been a lot of maturity. And again, with the Chase and Johnny things here, there's an abundance of emotions going on. This has been going on over an extended period of time here. And it holds a lot of power, a lot of omens, the sun, the chariot, and it needs to move forward here. Again, free will, but look at 11-11 and unconditional love. Yin and Yang. Divine union and a lot of fire. fire. All right, give me a couple cards. Coal plus pressure equals diamond. Watch out, stupid's contagious. Uh, somebody's getting in their own way here, holding themselves back. What you want to tell someone, what someone's not telling you. If you are not willing to learn, nobody can help you. If you are determined to learn, nobody can stop you. So I feel like just it's about learning and being in your own way. So spiritual team, do as I say, not as I do here. That's a bit of a conundrum. If someone thinks they have the upper hand, break it. Do not mistake my kindness for weakness. Somebody's definitely pushing their luck here. There's the hermit energy too. It's deep wisdom to know thyself. It's like you know, but you keep stuffing it down. The best time for a new beginning is now. You were born an original. Don't be a copy. You don't have to be like everybody else to fit in. Just saying. Just saying. It's easy to appreciate something until you've lost it. Don't trust everything you see. Even salt looks like sugar. Note your opinion of me does not affect my opinion of me. So I feel like this is a conversation you're having with someone here. Somebody is not on their spiritual path here and not seeing things correctly. Give me some cards. Chaos. Somebody's being censored. Or someone's trying to censor something, but I feel like it's trying to sense one's, censor somebody's feelings. Somebody is censoring their feelings. <sighs> Somebody's going to have to, like, work up the courage in order to move forward here and come up with a strategy. I do feel like someone's backed themselves into a corner. It's 
also like being reincarnated here like it's your duty to fix some soul contract to fix this chaos here immortal like i said there's a lot of astro traveling going on a lot of watching here a lot of moon energy and someone is surrounded by dark matter because they can't get out of their own way wheelchair just because the people are older doesn't mean they've learned i do feel like somebody is sick around here i also feel like somebody really uh is quite the independent person somebody feels stupid because of this chaos and then the knowing here it wasn't part of the master plan somebody uh went against the master plan here and now they get to get back on track with the hermit somebody's got to figure out who they are there's a lot of ego and narcissism dressing, dressing around here. I'm reading this. It says dressing up. Somebody's looking at somebody dressed up or undressing. I don't know. Detective. Well, that would be looking as well here. <sighs> somebody definitely feels stuck. I also feel like somebody isn't seeing the clues. They're not paying attention. But more astro traveling. Somebody has a lot of nightmares and a lot of dreams and a lot of dreaming here. Again, somebody could be ill. A lot of psychic visions and connected psychically here. To a sorcerer or sorceress here, there is definitely some magic going on. These are old souls that are connected. Somebody is just relying on their dark ego side here. A magician. Find your way home. Somebody is lost. There's some new beginning here. Uh, I do feel like there's only like one person qualified and we all just keep branching out looking for other people here. Uh, an anonymous threat. I do feel like there's stalking. I don't actually feel like there's a threat. I do feel like there is a lot of stalking. I do feel like there's some sort of revenge. Somebody's getting angry about something, though. Uh, Pre-science. Somebody made some prediction that is now quite obvious. And evil rule. Somebody, people want to work together after learning something. Let bygones be bygones. Somebody's having flashbacks here of the past. There's definitely some traveling. Somebody wants somebody to visit them here. Justice. <sighs> Yikes. So, there's all of that. I don't even know what I just said. Success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or are learning to do here. So your ancestors are all right in the middle of this stuff, right in your intuition. There's supposed to be some uh, rebirth here, but somebody is always in mischief, in trouble, doing things that they shouldn't be doing here and sharing their energy when they should be focusing it in one place, but it's going everywhere. Somebody is too all over the place here. Birds of a feather. Diving for the light. Somebody is in the wrong place. What is that? Come to life. Coming of winter. All of a sudden, something is right in front of your face. Body and soul, you can feel it. Something just all of a sudden rings true. Bring into form, yeah. Trust your intuition here. Seeing beyond, that's even like double trust your intuition here. Some tender embrace, look at those elephants yet again. There's rooted abundance here. Something is being exposed and revealed here. Somebody is opening up to uh, some love or feeling full and sharing alchemy, being, being great. She feels and she knows. Because somebody is magical. Divine matrix. Somebody understands the uh, matrix here. Big bold vision. Potions and spells. 
Somebody's doing some sort of love magic or manifestation here. A higher view shining through. Somebody shines so bright you can't stop looking at them. It's happening for you, not to you. The big, great love. Like, it is what it is. Somebody is trying to ignore this, but it is, like, screaming for your attention. Heaven sent, that's why. Every journey starts with one single step. So the universe is asking you to go head in a different direction. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. Somebody can't stop thinking about matters of the heart here. Something is going beyond almost. It is, I want to say of this world, but not of this world. Something, uh, it's uncharted waters here. Close encounters, you got to escape something or something never gets on the same path or not long enough. Again, somebody's doing some sort of ritual here and read the darkness. Somebody needs to be open and let the ego go. Legacy of light. Release the dark wound and let love live. That's what I'm saying. And then the owl who keeps coming out against the grain. It's okay to not be like everybody else. Bye.